I'm making this video today to show how you can add an image to an assignment. I'm a student in Ms. Chavez's Sandbox course, and I'm going to go over here to the assignment that says adding an image. And I know this is an assignment because it has a little piece of paper with a pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and click adding an image. And over here to the right, you'll see where it says submit assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click submit assignment. And if you notice, I have three different choices here. I'm going to start with my first tab. And my first tab says upload. So I'm going to go ahead and select upload. And right here, it gives me the option to upload a file. So when I upload a file, I can upload images that I want to share with my teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and select file. And it's going to open up my computer and I'm going to navigate to my desktop where I already had my picture save that I wanted to use. So I'm going to go ahead and select this little peacock right here because this is what I want to share with my teacher. And I'm going to go ahead and click open. It's going to upload that file. And while it's uploading, you can see that I have the option to add a comment right here so I could um, give my teachers a little comment, share some information with them about the picture that I'm uploading. If I decide I don't need that picture, I can click on the X and it'll delete it. But if I'm good to go, I can go ahead and click submit. And notice right here, I have submitted an item to my teacher. Now it's all under this assignment, adding an image. Now, what if there's two pictures? So, or something like that, that I also want to upload to share with my teacher. I'm going to go ahead and click resubmit assignment. This time I'm going to click on create. So watch when I click on create, I get a different type of window. This window has a toolbar here for different fonts. I can um, indent and align. I can even add the link to a website. But notice right here, I can insert content. And that's what I want to insert. I want to insert content to share with my teacher. And that content includes images. I have more than one image I want to share with my teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and select image media. And I'm going to attach a file. And just like before, I'm going to go back to my desktop. That's where I had that image already saved. I'm going to go ahead and select one of my images and click open. And it's going to drop that image into this white area. And I'm going to wait. Oh, it's there, but it's really big. So I'm going to select it with my mouse. I'm going to look for the corners and I'm just going to keep resizing this. I'm going to drag on the corners to resize until I get it small enough so it'll fit on my screen. This image was really big. So here it is right here. Now, let's say I want to add a second image. Maybe I'm sharing something um, from a worksheet I have at home or I'm sharing my journal and I took a picture of it and uploaded it to my computer and I need to share it with my teacher. So, and it's two pages. So I'm going to go back, insert content and go ahead and select image and media. I'm going to attach the file. I'll go back to my desktop. I'm going to select a different picture. And I'm going to click on this one just like before. And I'm just going to click on the corner to resize it because I want it to fit on the screen. And so again, you could do this with a journal. You could do this with um, a page from your workbook. My images were really big. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're almost there. There we go. So now I have my two images that I'm going to turn into my teacher. I could add text right here so I could say hello, Northside. I'm so happy to be here. Whatever um, text you need to add, that would be part of this message to my teacher. So if I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click submit and my teacher will notify that my assignment is done and ready to be graded. If not, and I need to come back and work on it later, then I would just select save draft. But I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and click submit. And now my teacher knows that I'm done and I'm ready for a grade. And that's how you attach images
to your work. Thanks for watching.